Hey everyone, and welcome to my first vlog at Brin Abroad here. I've never done a, blog, a vlog before, so I'm a little nervous and I'm not quite sure how this works, but uh, here we go. I'm just going to kind of say what I would say when I'm vlogging, but I'm not going to write it, I'm just going to talk it. So, lucky you all get to hear my awkward voice. <laughs> But um, anyways, today on the vlog, we're going to talk about, well, not we, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the nitty gritty here and talk about transportation. So the way I get around St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg is like very manageable to get around. It's really like fun and um like, I'll get into why it's fun in a little bit, but it's really easy to get around, and mostly I just get around by walking. That's my number one mode of transportation. And um, then second, I take taxis, and third, I take the metro. I don't do the bus system, um, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. So first of all, walking. Um, the like, if you're considering doing a study abroad and Russia is on your radar, like, St. Petersburg is awesome. Like, go to St. Petersburg, for reals. It's beautiful. And, like, the reason I walk, well, first of all, everything's pretty condensed. And it's really easy to get around. But also, wherever you're going, there's like a million things to see along the way. So if you don't walk, if you're like underground on the metro or just being by in a car, um, it's not the same. You don't get to enjoy it the same as when you're walking. And you can just see everything. So I, I walk. Um, the furthest I've ever gone is like an hour away for like the one of the like tourist attractions that's like farthest away from me so other than that like you're never really walking that far everything's super close and um, if you're here for a study abroad and you're studying at the Unicon here it is right in the middle of the city like honestly I'm just soaking it up because I'm like Probably, no matter what I do, I'm never going to be able to afford living in the middle, like, right in the middle of the most lively, like, beautiful downtown part of a city like this. Like, literally everything you think of when you think about St. Petersburg and, like, all the beautiful churches and palaces, like, our dorm is across the street from all of that. It's right in the middle of everything. So, anyways, walking is highly sufficient and my preferred way to get around. Um, so my second most used, um, most often used mode of transportation is taxis. For the most part you're not really going to need um, to be anywhere that's super far away because everything in the city is so close and nice and condensed together, but um, for me, my church building where I uh, meet for church every Sunday is like pretty far out of town. It's kind of a long story, um, but if you're interested, um, there is a church building right here in the center, but it got too small for the congregation and so they shut it down for a little while while they're looking for a bigger building, but in the meantime we've all got to go somewhere and so we meet in a really nice building that's just like about a half like half an hour taxi out of town and so um as far as like public transportation which I'll talk about a little bit later like metro and buses um that's super super great and sufficient for um zipping around like more in the downtown area but for um as far as like taking it out of the city, it gets super long and very inconvenient. So, since taxis are super inexpensive here, I just take those. And so, to talk a little bit about the price of the taxis, um, they're really, really inexpensive. Like, like bus fare in the U.S. is taxi fare here. Like, my half-hour taxi ride is just a little over three U.S. dollars. So I take advantage of that. I know I could do it for less expensive, um, but in in the like the scheme of things, it's really not expensive. So any money I would be saving would be kind of negligible and um, and not worth it because it would 
be long and inconvenient and I can just get a nice taxi there. But taxis do not come out without a non-monetary price. I dread taking taxis here and I've always been safe but like I feel like this kind of a fluke. <laughs> um, so just to give you a little picture of taxis in Russia or at least here in St. Petersburg. The first time I rode in a taxi to church, I literally thought that my taxi driver had a death wish. And I don't know if it was for himself or for me, but either way, I was pretty sure I was going down with him in that car. Um, it was just zipping around, and they don't really have, like, like defined lanes. Everyone's just kind of, like, on the road, like, doing this and, like driving and even where there are lane markers like I don't know why I don't know if it's like some like adrenaline rush but like just about every taxi driver I've had drives right over the white dotted line so they're in both lanes like straddling the line anyways it's kind of a riot so first thing you will experience in a taxi in St. Petersburg is probably alarm second thing you will experience illness, nausea. I have not gotten car sick in years and years and years and years. I thought that I didn't get car sick, but here, like literally, the level of nausea you will experience in a Russian taxi is like a tempering fire for gaining mastery over your body. <laughs> like, I really, I really, there have been so many times when I thought I was gonna just like vomit like right there right in the taxi into my purse or something but I didn't the the way they drive the best way to describe it is probably that out of hell <laughs> like no matter like they go from complete stop and just take off like a true bat out of hell every time they start the car like and it doesn't matter how much um like empty road is ahead of them they will go straight to that pace if there are nine empty feet in front of them so there are like 15 feet of there's like 15 feet of empty road out in front of them before the next car and they just like start the car at bat out of hell pace and then there's a car in front of them, like 15 feet away, and so then they have to like screech to a halt because they were like hauling, you know, up to that point. So you're just driving down the road like that for whatever length it is until your destination, and honestly, like, it's rough. I thought that I, like, because of my extensive experience with the taxis, I really thought that I had like mastered the um like the vomiting reflex and I really I really thought that I had like and especially this one day um I went in a taxi to church and like it was rough it was rough and I got there and I was like I did not throw up like I have become master of my stomach like I will never throw up again if I didn't throw up af after that like it's, I, I've become master of that. It's never going to happen again. And then, of course, on the way home, um, in my other taxi, which was a different driver, but same driving style. They will all drive like that. Be ready. I just, yeah, I did throw up. And um, <laughs> luckily we were at a stop. And so I just opened the door and leaned out and, you know threw up and my taxi driver was not phased at all like at all I was just like lol I'm fine <laughs> but like I think he just thought I was drunk like I, I actually thought about that and I was like he probably gets that all the time like all these taxi drivers probably like they're probably not phased so anyways the moral of the story is if you feel like you're gonna throw up in the taxi just open the door roll, on the, roll down the window and do it they're the your drive will your, your driver probably won't even notice. <laughs> so, anyways, that's a gross but true story and also embarrassing, but now you all know about it. Um, I also take the metro 
Um, first of all, um, there was a terrorist attack in the metro here in St. Petersburg. Um, uh, let's see, I think it was just last month, actually. Um, which was awful. Um, for, for everyone here, for everyone affected, and, and, um, yeah. But, um, the security has picked up a little in the metro. Even right after that happened, and before, before they kicked up security, I, I've never felt unsafe in the metro. Um, I still take the metro quite often, and, um, I, I've never had anything scary happen, and I think it's just... You know, you can be anywhere at the wrong place in the wrong time, um, unfortunately. But I still take the metro, and it's very convenient and fast and, and inexpensive. Um, a metro ticket for one way is 45 rubles. No, it's, yeah, 45 rubles, um, which is about, like, 60 U.S. cents. So, not too bad. Um, and then... Um, the bus system, I, um, I have never really gotten into it, mostly because I felt like walking and metroing and taxiing has been, like, all I needed, and the bus system's kind of hard to figure out, so instead of biting the bullet and, um, expanding my transportation horizons trying to figure it out, I've just kind of not bothered with it and I've been fine so <laughs> anyways um yeah I I can't say that I have suffered for lack of bus opportunities like I've never really felt like I was missing it but um yeah that is pretty much all I have to say about um transportation which is I'm sure as it is way more than you were hoping um I just have one tip to leave you with, and that is from my mom before I came, which I thought was really good advice, and it served me well. Um, like, she just told me, you look like a target for, like, um, pickpocketing if you look lost. And so, wherever you go, whatever kind of transportation you're using, just, like, try to look like you know exactly what you're doing and walk with a purpose. And so, anyways, I have spent a lot of time, uh, just, like, walking around the metro and the city like I own the place when I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing, but you just, like, do that in circles till you figure it out, and then you know, you're fine, and I've never had anything stolen from me, and it's probably because I'm so tough looking, and no one would try to steal anything from me anyway, but if it's not that, maybe it's because I look like I know what I'm doing, and like I know where I am, so anyways, that is my transportation tips, and if you are considering St. Petersburg, know that it's a great place to be and transportation is easy and have a great day. That's it. <laughs>